right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Alandis Brazel. I am the program director for the Arts and Business Council. I can't hear you, Jill, if you're. Can you, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Nope. What about that? All right. Am I here? There we go. I got All you. All right. Yep. Awesome. Uh, sorry for the technical issues there. I'm Joe McMillan. I'm the executive director here at the Arts and Business Council. And we're so glad you joined us this afternoon for our informational webinar about our Periscope Artist Entrepreneur Training Program. So if you don't know about us or aren't familiar with the Arts and Business Council. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization here based in Nashville, um, and we leverage and unite the unique resources of the arts and business communities to create a thriving, sustainable, creative culture here in Nashville. And because we are an art service organization, that means we've provided an entire suite of services and programs and key opportunities for creatives here in Nashville and beyond across the state in Tennessee. So that includes our education programs, our volunteer lawyers and professionals for the arts program, arts board matching, fiscal sponsorship, our new opportunities hub, and a lot of other stuff to make sure that the creative economy here in Tennessee can thrive. All right, so um, so like we said, she's Jill, I'm Alandis, and uh, we're gonna spend today talking about the, uh, the Periscope program. Um, so just a little presentation, a little overview of the presentation. Uh, first, we're going to talk about what Periscope is. Um, then we'll kind of go into who can apply to Periscope, uh, what you should expect from the program, because the program is packed with a lot of activities and information. Um, we'll go over uh, the Periscope application timeline and the process. Um, we'll go over attendance requirements because that's, that's very important. And we'll also go over some success stories and uh, we'll conduct the Q&A afterwards. Uh, so the first question is, um, you know, uh, what is Periscope? Periscope is uh, is a large part of the Arts and Business Council's education program, and it's an artist entrepreneur intensive training program. Um, and it does a couple of things. It empowers working artists to see their vision through an entrepreneurial lens. Uh, that answers kind of like the first question, um, where the name Periscope came from, and that's actually where it came from. So we've received a lot of questions about is Periscope an online program? Um, it's not. It's actually an intensive interactive classroom based program. A lot of people thought Periscope was kind of based on the Periscope social media platform, but it is actually in class. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Periscope is a program that we put on with a number of partner organizations. Uh, the first being the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. They actually um, host the program and, uh, and one, one of their VPs teaches uh, a lot of the in-class sessions, and we'll get to that in a, in a moment. They also partner with Metro Arts, uh, Nashville Office of Arts and Culture, uh, with the Mayor's Office of Economic and Community Development, and with the Nashville Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, they provide uh, funding, and they provide resources, um, and uh, they're great relationships to have you know, as we move forward, uh, connecting artists with businesses. So, the program takes place in three phases. Um, the first is an eight week on site training that takes place from May 17th to June 20th. Um, it's the training is half a day, once a week. Um, and it, so part of it will take place at the EC. Some of them will, some of the sessions will actually take place on Belmont's campus at the Arts and Business Council's facility. Uh, we are the nonprofit and residents on Belmont University's campus. Um, and we have access to classroom facilities that we'll utilize for some of those trainings. Um, the next phase is mentorship. So after you complete your eight week on site training, you're paired, uh, artists are paired with a mentor, um, a business leader in the community who will help them um, kind of flesh out their business idea. Um, and then uh, the, the final phase is the pitch and the culminating event. And of course, we'll get all we'll get into all of this <clears throat> later on in the program. Um, the program fee is $200, um, that, and that's coming from the artist. Now, the actual program is valued um, at a much higher uh, cost, so 700, over $750. Uh, but again, our program partners and, um, and donors from the community generally subsidize that. Generously subsidized. We have a lot of really great alumni that have gone through the program or creative businesses in the community that will help um, 
contribute and bring down the cost of Periscope by donating scholarships to artists artists yep. that are going through the program. And that's not anything that the artist applying needs to provide. That's something that we go out and solicit from our relationships and our donors. So the only thing you're responsible for is that tuition cost of $200. Correct. And it says a lot that we have um, a lot of alumni who actually you know, provide these scholarships to people coming through the program. Uh, because it says that that one they're able to provide those scholarships, but also <laughs> that, they, that they saw some, they they got some value from the program and want other people to get that same value. So, um, so who can apply to Periscope? And this is a big one. Uh, this is a, this is a big question that we've received. First of all, you have to be a practicing artist, and what a practicing artist is for these purposes is you have to be a working professional. Um, but your art doesn't have to be your full time profession. Um, you know, going through Periscope is really going to help you determine, you know, how you become a full-time professional in many cases. So some of the people who come through Periscope have been doing their artwork part-time, um, and this has kind of launched them into doing it full-time. Some people have been doing it full-time and are, are really just taking their practice to the next level. So you don't have to, it, you have to be a working professional, but your art doesn't have to be your full-time profession at this moment. Um, mm -hmm. You do have to be a resident of Tennessee. The Arts and Business Council um, provides services to Tennessee residents. Uh, so that and that's why we have the Tennessee resident requirement. Um, and finally, you can't be currently enrolled in a degree granting program. So if you're in college right now, um, if, and if you're seeking, you know, seeking an actual degree, then this program wouldn't necessarily be the program for you. We still want you to um, become involved with the Arts and Business Council so that, uh, you know, there are many other resources that you can take advantage of volunteer lawyers and professionals for the arts, our monthly seminars, um, and, and those will actually be able to kind of get you ready for um, for Periscope if that's something you know that you will want to do in the future. I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Jill. Yeah, I was just going to say something about the Tennessee residency requirement. Uh, because all of the classroom sessions, all eight weeks, will take place in the greater Nashville area, um, it's up to people outside of the greater Nashville area whether they feel that they can make it to the sessions. So if you're outside of the area, just that's up to your discretion. As long as you live in Tennessee, you're welcome to apply. All right. So what should you expect? So um, first part is the training. So um, the eight week training on site with the EC. Um, it's uh, a lot of the material is derived from their pre-flight program that a lot of their entrepreneurs go through. So um, you'll have, that'll be kind of like the big picture business training. We'll be coming up with your business idea, and we'll, there's another slide about this, but um, it's your big picture training. And then you'll also have uh, like individual, or you'll have like lunch and learn sessions or small group sessions uh, with functional business practices that you'll learn. Like, so takeaways. Then you'll have an exchange. So um, small group work after your big picture sessions, you're going to break down into small groups. You break down into four small groups. Um, and in those four small groups, you'll be working with with an actual artist who is the group leader um, who will be able to kind of take you through uh, the Periscope curriculum and help you work through some of the some of the uh, material. You'll um, have mentor as this, uh, have a mentor as discussed before. So you'll be paired with a um, high caliber mentor, high caliber. We mean um, an entrepreneur um, or a business professional in the Nashville area who has expertise in. Um, in, in 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 what you need to, to strengthen your skills in uh, during that eight week during the first eight week period and actually between the period um, where you accept your spot in the Periscope program um, and you know for the first eight weeks of the program uh, the ABC staff so Jill and I will be getting to know you uh, we'll be getting to kind of know what your needs are what your strengths and weaknesses are so that we can pair you with a mentor who will help you um, again kind of kind of strengthen strengthen those weaknesses and get you to where you need to be. And then you'll get exposure. So we have a pitch event. Um, in the past, it's been kind of like a Shark Tank event where people can come up and uh, do like a three minute pitch of the idea that they've developed with their mentor um, and get support from business leaders in the community. Um, and then there are also year round opportunities to celebrate your work. Uh, in the past, those opportunities have included um, a, a, and a gallery exhibition with Bohan uh, B Gallery, um, 
often community members will come to us with opportunities for artists saying, hey, I need somebody to, um, you know, a popular one is, is, is paint a mural, you know, or, or, or I, I need, I, I, I need an, an artist to let you there. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so they'll come to us and, um, and, you know, we have a database of Periscope alumni, you know, that we will be able to, to send them to. So. Yeah. Another really great opportunity that we have um, for alumni um, is we, as the Arts and Business Council, have a column each month in Nashville Arts Magazine. And actually on newsstands now for the February issue, uh, Periscope alum Megan Lytell wrote a really great column about her experience in the Periscope program last year, rather two years ago now, and uh, about how it kind of changed her practice and what she's doing now since the program's been completed. Um, so we do have those opportunities besides shows, um, also kind of community engagement opportunities and marketing opportunities for alumni as well. Um, but what's really great about this kind of four dimensional program is that you walk away with both um, theoretical business knowledge and then also practical applications of that knowledge. So you'll kind of see through the training, exchange, mentorship, and exposure, you're getting a lot, you're learning a lot, but you're also learning to apply that knowledge as well. It's a lot of hands-on work. All right, so during a typical training day uh, with Periscope, what you can expect, usually they're either half day sessions from nine to one, or some of the sessions as you'll see later when we talk about the schedule are one to five in the afternoon. So the day will begin with a training session led by John Murdoch, who's the Director of Education at the Entrepreneur Center. And um, so he'll walk you through the curriculum topic for that day. And then we'll do a breakout session after that with the small group leaders, like Alandis mentioned, the artists that have gone through the program or are more experienced artists in the field. Um, and you'll break down and talk about how the curriculum applies to your specific artistic situation. You can bounce ideas off of the other people in your small group. You can talk about what challenges you're having. It really is a time to kind of work through individual um, processes. And then um, we take a break after that and do um, optional but highly, 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 highly encouraged lunch and learn session um, where we bring in uh, different resources from across the community to talk about um, opportunities for artists, whether those are residency opportunities, grant writing opportunities, um, other kind of funding opportunities, community engagement um, things, or it'll be a specialized topic. So marketing, how to pitch your work, um, things like that, so we can drill a little bit deeper and bring in some other perspectives. Yep, and thanks for jumping in there. I couldn't hear for a second, so I don't yeah, know what happened. No, that's but, totally but, fine. Um, and so, and other like lunch learning opportunities, like so, um, how do you actually start a business, right? Like these are mm -hmm. kind of like the nuts and bolts. Um, like, and when, I, when we say how do you start a business, how do you actually do that in the state of Tennessee? What forms do you have to fill out? Um, you know, do you have to file for certain business licenses? Uh, you know, there'll be a lunch and learn opportunity that goes through that. Um, a lot of these lunch and learn opportunities will be um, sessions where you'll actually be able to bring your computer and like mm -hmm. sit down and say, hey, like if I want to start my business today, this is how I do it. If I want to, you know, make sure my website has all the right things or if I want to make sure my social media um, is up to par. Like these are things that I can work on and you'll be able to bring your computer and actually, you know, start on it right there. At least kind of have your outline and your skeleton there and the professional or the, or the session leader will be able to lead you through some things. So that's what these lunch and learns are for. They're optional, but again, highly encouraged. Um, you also have weekly homework assignments. And the weekly homework assignments, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's really for your benefit. It's just things that, uh, that you should be thinking about, um, uh, you know, as a working professional. Um, it, you'll, you'll be taking, you know, the information that you've learned in, in that, in that week session and really kind of applying that to your personal practice, you know, throughout the week for homework. Um, so uh, that's, that's just something to look forward to. Yeah, those homework assignments really help you kind of refine and solidify the ideas you're talking about in class and um, solidify your business proposition or, you know, whatever direction you're taking your creative endeavor. Um, it'll help you think through that for yourself. Exactly. Cool. Um, so then the next thing that we're looking at is uh, is the, the schedule. So this is this is a broad overview of, um, of of what you'll be talking about throughout the first eight weeks. So the first the first week will actually be kind of like a mixer. Um, it will not be held at, at the EC. Um, 
Cause this is what, this is when we're gonna one sit down, make connections with alumni, but also mm-hmm. kind of set goals um, and set expectations for the for the, the the rest of the program. So you know we're gonna help you figure out you know what it is you want to come out of this program, like what you want to walk away with, uh, and and you, you're gonna want to excuse me, you're gonna want to keep that in mind. Um, the the next uh, the next six weeks um, will be with the EC. You'll talk about what your idea is, um, then build on that, how to build a compelling, a compelling proposition for that idea, how to frame that concept. And they, they have this, this great um, this great model of the idea frame that, that they work with. Um, and it's really visual. It works really well with artists. So, you know, you'll, you'll get into that. Um, once you frame your concept um, and you have an idea about how to talk about that concept, then you talk about the basics of getting to market, um, you know, how to how to get this to something that you can that you can sell or that you promote um, if it's if if it has a like a, a an activism slant you know how to, how you can use it to to get your message across um, following that we'll talk about art as or being an artist you know in business and not just being a hobbyist artist there are, are some there are some things that there's some practices that you'll have to change um, you know of course there are business business practices strategies um, and like just different planning. Uh, some shifts you'll have to make. Um, and this session is all about that. After that, we're talking about getting believers. So again, like, you know, getting fans, um, you know, getting patrons. And then um, the final week is putting it all together. That's going to be where we kind of look at everything you learned in the past seven weeks. And, uh, you know, keeping in mind your goals from week one, you know, how they change. And really thinking about how you how you can take what you've learned from the past from the past seven weeks, um, come up with a plan of you know how you're going to work with your mentor, you know how you're going to use that for the culminating event. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know if you have anything to add, Joe. Uh, nope, covered it pretty well. Cool. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So the application process, June twenty fourth, applications open up and nominations. Uh, we started accepting nominations. Um, February 12th was the last day for nominations, but want to be clear about this. Um, artists can still self-nominate and request applications after this date. The nomination process was for alumni community members who said, hey, I think this artist would be great for this. <coughs> Excuse me. So they so they used the nomination form that we had and they, they recommended an artist to us and we sent an application to that artist. If you're an artist who's interested in this and you, you want to apply for a Periscope, you still have the opportunity to to request the application. Yeah, you don't have yeah, to be yeah. nominated. Yeah. Right. Um, but the application deadline is March 12th at 1159 p.m. So you'll want to make sure that you um, and we'll go over the, the portfolio requirements. So you want to make sure that you request that in enough time to to get the application and the portfolio. After we receive applications, mid-March applications are reviewed by panelists um, and then we announce the class in late March, early April. And then the, the program starts on May 17th. So application materials, you need a number of things. First, you'll need the completed Periscope application. Well, if you want, if you've requested it, you have it. If you want to request it, info at abcnashville.org. I got the email right this time, Joe. <laughs> um, so info at, at abcnashville.org. Email us to request the application. Call us 615-460-8274. Request the application. We'll get it out to you. PDF, fill that out. Um, and you'll also have to submit a work sample. So if you're a musician or an actor or a, or a director, um, you'll need to submit audio or video, five minutes max. Um, if you're a visual artist, digital images, up to four images that best represent your work. Um, a writer of any kind, a manuscript, so five pages max of the manuscript. Um, and if there are any special instructions on how we should do your art um, or read your work, let us know. If we need to stand upside down and, you know, squint our eyes or something like that, just let us know. We'll, I can't promise to do that. Maybe some of our <laughs> we'll do our best. To do that. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do our best. Um, and then we'll have a, um, you'll also need to submit your resume um, or CV. And, and again, that's three pages max. Yeah, and something I want to make clear here, because I'm not sure we've mentioned it yet, but I do want to just make a special note of it. Periscope is open to 
any artist in any creative discipline. Yes. So it, yeah, so it isn't just for visual artists, musician, traditional fine arts. We've had spoken word poetry, hip hop artists, filmmakers, jewelry makers, any creative discipline this program is open to as long as you're serious about taking your creative career to the next level. Um, so with these work samples, you know, the best way that you can showcase your particular art form, we're happy to accept. So um, those are some general guidelines there. If your work does not fit within those guidelines, let us know, we can figure something out. Um, but this program is open to all creatives. Uh, um, one of our uh, very successful alumni is actually one of Nashville's only glass blowers. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that it's, it's, it's something that, you know, that is not common, but we are here, you know, to, to help every artist build their professional uh, practice. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about panelists and what they're looking for. So panelists evaluate your portfolio and your application based on one, quality and creative vision. Um, and that kind of speaks for itself, right? You know, it's it's the it's it's an objective kind of look at um, at at the at the quality of your of the body of work that you present. Um, then also motivation and need. So, what is your motivation as an artist? What's your motivation to uh, to get involved? You know, with the Periscope program. What's your motivation and need to become a professional artist? Uh, also, what what is the what is Tennessee's or, or, or what's the community's need? You know. Um, you know, for for the art. Um, in that same vein, you're looking at uh, they're looking at diversity and representation. So not only traditional like you know diversity uh, measures like you know ethnicity, race, uh, gender, um, like geographic mm -hmm. diversity, but also like representation in the community. Like, is your type of art you know represented represented in the artistic community? Um, are you, you know, is, is your, you know, is, is your ethnicity, you know, is art from a specific group or a geographic region, you know, represented well in the community? And will this program help increase that representation? And then you have the subjective, like, overall impression of, you know, your application and portfolio as a whole. Um, and these panelists, um, you know, include, you know, local arts leaders. Um, curators and artists um, and program partners and alumni. So uh, once we receive your applications, we're gonna we're gonna put that application in a group um, with somebody who's like an expert, you know, in your in your genre. So you don't you don't have to worry about that as well. Yeah, our panelists are pretty varied, and um, we have a large panel as well. So if you're a theater yeah. artist, your portfolio will be evaluated by experts in that field. If you're mm -hmm. a musician, same applies. So you'll you'll be assured that your work is being evaluated as objectively as possible, um, mm -hmm. and that you're having experts in that field um, really looking at your work. All right. So attendance. Um, please pay attention, close attention to program dates and times. Um, they're listed on our website. They are. We, we listed them earlier in this presentation. They're also on the application. Um, the reason we we emphasize this is because the application process is very competitive. Um, in order to ensure like the best quality programming, uh, build a collaborative and supportive program, because you will be working with your with your cohort members a lot. Um, and to be fair to the people who weren't offered a spot, uh, we asked the, that all participants attend all sessions during the eight week on site training. Um, and I don't, I don't think we've mentioned this um, in this session, but uh, the class size is 20. So we accept mm -hmm. 20 artists per cohort. Um, this year we've received, uh, you know, more requests and nominations than we've ever received before. We received over 80 um, requests for applications. So, um, I mean, with that said, you know, only a quarter of if, if everybody applies only a quarter of applicants will, will get in so if, if you're getting that spot we want to make sure you know that you're able to, to to utilize that spot all right so just a couple of testimonials so you can kind of see how this has affected other people um one uh person said i really uh, or ted ted drozdowski who's a musician who went through periscope said i really enjoy being part of the program and i think my biggest takeaway was a greater ability to focus on core practical goals and to still what I do in a manner that made it more accessible or at least understandable for others while at the same time defining my art and myself as unique. 
Um, and then uh, Celine Thaxton from Chatterbird said that starting something from scratch on my own is scary, but Periscope gave me the tools to make it more manageable and actionable. So just um, a number of uh, Periscope, <clears throat> Periscope alumni, uh, Megan Lytell, painter, uh, she won the 2016 Pitch Perfect Award, which is uh, the best overall award from the pitch. Um, and she just completed a show at Zeitgeist. Um, and again, again, she also wrote that National Arts Magazine column. Uh, Jill, I, I know you had a, I think you have a couple more things that she's done. Or uh, She actually, yeah. um, from the prize she won from her Pitch Perfect Award, we have a really terrific partnership with Southwest. Um, and they gifted her round trip tickets. So she was actually t uh, able to go complete a residency in, I believe it was Colorado um, to that she was applying for and through the program was able to get and um, through the prize she won able to complete. Um, so she's had some pretty incredible opportunities. She talks about that residency a little bit in her article in Nashville Arts Magazine. Um, yeah, and she just did that show at uh, Zeitgeist and uh, has had some really wonderful, wonderful things happen since the program. And then uh, Colleen Phelps, uh, she's a multidisciplinary artist. Uh, she is a, um, one thing she is, is a percussionist. She won the 2017 People's Choice Award, and uh, that award is it's called the crowd favorite from the pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at, at the end of the pitch, uh, every the, the crowd got a chance to vote on um, on who their favorite presentation, on what their favorite presentation was. So she won that, and she's actually curating music circuits at Oz Arts this spring. Um, so that is that is something that we're looking forward to. That's, that's actually going to be going on the the night of our mixer. So yeah, um, I know a couple. Yeah, so we're we're looking forward to maybe hopping over there after the mixer and uh and uh and checking that out, um, and then Stephanie Pruitt, who was in the first class of Periscope, uh, she's a poet and she's had several successful partnerships with businesses and patrons, you know, in the area and the region. Um, she's and she also was an artist. actually interviewed by the Tennessean this morning. Uh, they had a Facebook Live video um, with an interview with her. So she's doing really really wonderful things. Yeah, she's great. She is um, the uh, she's in what, leadership Nashville this year. Mm -hmm. she, she, I mean, she, she's, she's doing a lot of great things. So, again, just another successful, um, another successful Periscope alumni. Um, so with that, if anybody has questions, uh, feel free to submit them in the comment section. Um, we'll stay on for a couple more minutes. I don't anticipate a lot of questions based on, on kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, but yeah, if anybody has questions, uh, let us know. Um, <clears throat> and also, oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, what, you, we're leading right into the last slide of that. Yeah. You know, if we do go offline here uh, after this webinar is over, and you're watching this when it's not live, um, we'll answer comments uh, left on the video after the fact, of course. Um, but if you'd like to email us, if you don't want your comment to be public or question to be public, please feel free to email us at info at abcnashville.org. Um, we do have a number of people monitoring that email address. Or you can call us as well if the question, um, you know, if you want to have a conversation with us about the program or anything you've heard here that um, may not make sense or something we haven't answered, um, you can call us at 615-460-8274. Um, and there's additional information on our website as well, www.abcnashville.org slash Periscope. Um, mm -hmm. That should lead you directly to the program page on our website, um, and it'll that's where the uh, classroom schedule or the class schedule for this year is listed, um, as well as some kind of additional details, the program fees, everything we've talked about here should be listed on that webpage as well if you need a refresher. Yep. So, so yeah, um, if there aren't any questions, then we're going to go ahead and sign off. But again, you know, this is our contact information. Uh, please get in contact with us. We're looking forward to receiving your applications. Uh, looking forward to answering any questions you have and hopefully looking forward to working with you uh, this summer in the 2018 uh, cohort of Periscope, which is the fifth cohort of Periscope, so it's a special year for us here. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. All right. Thank you.